If you'd seen uh, Game & Watch was not so popular and that uh, Atari had this crash, was there any point where you felt you might be wasting your time? I do that. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Any uh, hints for us? What's the best strategy? Yeah, I forgot. 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 In the worst case scenario, that there's nothing I, I could do when I got into uh, the Nintendo. Ta-da. But there's a lot of anticipation that I could do something really interesting by being that part of the company. What was the size of Nintendo when you joined and how did it grow? <laughs> when I joined Nintendo, there's virtually no one who are specialized in electrical engineering. I had one colleague who studied at the university levels uh, for electrical engineering and that's about it. I haven't played it recently, so during the testing period, I would play it like all the time. Was there a separation between hardware and software? Basically, we're on, we're on the same team. So initially, the hardware designer also worked on like sound design, graphic design, and even game design itself, and, and develop games. So there's a lot of people who are specializing in electric engineering, but also as a hobby, they play guitars or the uh, pianos and all these stuff. So those people are available. Some also into oil painting as a hobby. So uh, during that time, even though they're designing hardware, or simultaneously some worked on music, others worked on graphic, and then and all together they created a game design. So the game they came out taking it. But then after the business start you know grow, everybody needs to be focused on specialized functions by expanding business by implementing what is called division of labor. So we could have more product in shorter times. So we then eventually hire somebody who are specialized in music compositions at the university I will be recruited and also those guys who are specialized in art are recruited to our companies back then. These days somebody will start with a design program to make something. Did you literally just start writing on paper? How did it start? In, in, in back then in Japan, in a lot of cases we studied video game developed in America. It's the same situation, not only in Nintendo, but also in like uh, Taito, Sega, and Namco. So they would import Atari products from America, and while they're doing their business on the side, they also study uh, what they've done, the Atari has done as a product. So one of the most breakthrough back then was the Space Invader, uh, developed by Taito, developed by Mr. Nishikado. He ended up developing uh, Space Invader, but before then he studied quite a bit about all these games developed in America. And we also studied uh, what the Taito has done on Space Invader and then tried to come up with our ideas. So um, after Space Invader became a huge hit, and there was a toy that used electrical uh, calculator to make it as a game. And that's how it started. Some of them decided to, or they started developing space invader type game using electrical calculator, uh, having LSI small monitors. So that's how Nintendo came up with the new uh, toy called Game & Watch that used a, like a, a mechanism for an electrical calculator and then putting LCD monitors. Do you know? So Nintendo, their first work for the home use game-like device is Game & Watch. We also were studying about arcade game because we had an operation that focused on arcade game service and stuff. So we knew that, that is something that we should focus on. But then, you know, we thought it was not possible to create toys that focus on that function because it's just not possible, so that's why we first started out with Game & Watch. How does it feel to have that controller in your hand again? 
試験ばっかりあのテストばっかりしてあーあのテストばっかりしてあのテストばっかりしてあのテストばっかりしてあのテストばっかりしてあのテストばっかりしてあのテストばっかりしてあのテストばっかりしてあのテストばっかりしてあのテストばっかりしてあのテストばっかりしてあのテストばっかりしてあのテストばっかりしてあのテストばっかり I was not completely satisfied because in one time it was too expensive, the other time I wanted to do something more, but with technical limitation we couldn't do that much. So there's a lot of complaint、uh, that I had for that project. But I now realize it now that、um, if we try to do、uh, something interesting with technical limitation, then we'll be able to have come up with interesting stuff that would attract a lot of people. あの特にね、この I love the movement of jumping. ジャンプするときの映像ですね、このジャンピングは。It's well made. If it's tall, it's not possible to recreate this kind of jumping action. この、まあ、マリオが歩くぐらいはね、おもちゃやとことかとロボット。This walking sequence, it's not to do. こういう,こうジャンプするようなロボット。But then the jumping sequence is really difficult to recreate. 当然で It was really not possible for a while. So, so what, what we did、uh, for our perspective was that when Atari 2600 came out, we imported that device and then played the games with that. But then, the, after the analysis, after studying the Atari 2600, their conclusion was that it was not convincing、uh, for kids in Japan enough to be able to make it as a marketable product. And also, at the same time, we had another information that the Donkey Kong that they developed in Japan became more popular in America than those in Japan. But at the time, the Game Watch was really popular in Japan, so the, as a corporate, their decision was that、uh, they don't need to create、like、a Donkey Kong stuff because the Game Watch was already popular. But then, the, during the time for the video game shakeout took place in America,、uh, with the Atari started to collapse in 1983, or so, the Game Watch was no longer popular during that time. By that time, we had a prototype which they are working on for the family computer. And then,、uh, with that, the fact that the Game Watch is not selling well as it used to be, then there was a command from the top. Corporate、uh, to, to sell the family computer as a product. But at that time,、uh, there's no company that could supply LSI, which could be used for a family computer. Because a majority of semiconductor companies in Japan w a s focusing on developing、uh, computer chips for home computer use. But then there's one company called Rico, which are usually creating chips for the office copying machines. We're able to create the chips that is suitable for the family. Even though Rico had a capability to creating semiconductors, LSI, the company didn't allow them to put the device into like a copy machine. So the team are designing LSI was a bit frustrated at the time. So that was the time that Nintendo couldn't find the company that could create the LSI. Rico, who could, could come out create the LSI, so they、uh, met. Uh, together and get together. We have Donkey Kong behind you, and, and you'd been working on bringing this into the home.、I'm、trying to understand how you go about that. So, there's an At first,、uh, the LSI, the, the semiconductor company that created LSI, was saying it's not possible because it costs a lot of money to do that. At that time,、uh, in order to, to faithfully recreate what you could do with the arcade game version of Donkey Kong, you need like a full LSI to do that. Right. But then the order from the president was to make sure to sell this end product at a retail price of 15,000 yen at maximum. That means we could only use two chips, not four. So it's a collaboration deal between、uh, Nintendo and an LSI developer. That make sure to put maximum amount of、uh, graphical and sound capability with Donkey Kong simultaneously put them into two chips. And that was quite a challenge for Rico as well. 
だからある意味両方ともチャレンジャブルで、そう、was a challenge for both of us。but we just did our best。気持ちで、あの、協力して作ってました。I see your name is down as producer for Donkey Kong. Is this because of the Famicom version of it, maybe? そうです。Yes, that's for the Family Computer version. あの、because in look and the graphic design-wise, it's very similar. but then from program perspective, the Famicom version and the arcade version are completely different. 全く違います。What tricks did you use to make it work? さっき言いましたように、まあ、アーケードゲームの能力をできるだけ残しながら、ツーチップに、ツーエサイン。We try to put them all together in this two chip. <笑>プログラムも工夫して、詰めまあ、いわゆる詰め込んだと。So, did the advances in science help with that? Was it the chips were getting more capable? So, we were able to rectify the graphic chips、uh, during that time. So, that's why, even though CPU itself is 6503,、uh, we were able to put all this maximum、uh, graphic capability into this processing. We had a source code for the arcade version of Donkey Kong. そのために一番大きい問題は、そう、for the arcade version use G80 instead of 6502 is Famicom. アーケードゲームは絶対 completely different CPU でしたから、so we have to program it from scratch. 違うんで、もう全く一緒。But we have the arcade game right outside, so during the porting process, we play it as much as possible to be able to faithfully recreate how it is on a family computer. そういうテクニック。It was really hard challenge to do that in such a short time、uh, with such a different type of、uh, technical capability of the、uh, CPUs. Today, maybe the game is written in a high level language and then you can port from one to another to another. And that was not how this was? Not at all. もうハードウェアそのものです。You have to work on with hardware. No operation system. There's no operation system available then. Over my shoulder we have a Famicom here. How does this feel to hold this again? これもう一度まあ持っていただきたいんですけど、これ見てどう感じますか。Toy. It's a toy. <laughs> It's a good toy. My, my... Well, I guess I look back,、uh, I guess it was, in fact, a very amazing piece of toy. The important portion of this device is this place right here, the ejection. This one allows the, the kids to eject the cartridge. Pops out <laughs> if you push it. But it's a toy, so I want this one. From a device perspective, that eject button is not necessary. But he put it on purpose because it's a toy. Another thing was that we initially thought that we would just only put one controller. Because this is a device which allows kids to be in front of the TV and then play alone. That was a new thing about the toy. But then around that time, there's arcade games which allow two players to play simultaneously. Thus,、uh, we decided to put two controllers instead of one. So I think a lot of people are shocked at how、um, faithfully ported this arcade device to the Famicom. Uh, especially looking at this jumping sequence of the games. Jump is the action that are done by kids. The jumping is action is not done smooth, and kids will realize that. But then Donkey Kong was faithfully be able to recreate that jumping action, so that's one thing great about this game. They know what they're doing, right? He ticks this over one and produces that same A1 so that he can decrypt the message and read it, right? So Alice maybe wants to send another one, so she's going to tick this KDF function again. She's going to produce a new key and A2, right? She's going to send that to Bob. He's going to tick this receiving function A2. Now Bob wants to send a message.